Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Here I am. <laughs> um, today is Monday, and um, this is a, I'm doing a what's for dinner, guys. I'm making fried chicken cutlets. I'm not sure what I'm making with it yet. I'm going to go look at my refrigerator. I'm trying to think if I remember if I have Thanksgiving stuffing left over. I know I have some mashed potatoes, not a lot. Mashed potatoes, I might have stuffing. I think um, if I have stuffing left over, we're going to have that with this. Otherwise, I have to make something else. I think I think we do, though, have stuffing in there. So I'm going to fry. I'm going to bread these cutlets up, guys. Get them in here, and then I'm going to start frying them up because they're going to take a little while. All right, so let's get started. So how was everybody's Thanksgiving? I hope it was great. Mine was good, nice and quiet. Just the six of us. We had a lot of fun. We ate, did what we always do every Thanksgiving. And um, the food was great, and everything went well. The turkey came out terrific, and it was nice. So comment down below, guys, what you guys did. If you spent it with a lot of family, more than likely you didn't because of COVID. And um, I'm just curious to what you guys did. Everything came out delicious. It was so yummy. I'm telling you, Thanksgiving is awesome. Everything was great. So, yeah, um... Just hanging out. Um, we actually, I was out today. Um, Bill had to go to um, to the doctor for his checkup for his arm, and so he got his staples taken out. And um, the doctor said he's doing well, but he has three more weeks before he goes back again. And then they'll tell him if he can take the um, take the um, sling off. He has to wear it for another three weeks, but he's going to be starting th um, physical therapy, and they're going to be able to move his arm. Only they can move it. He can't, when, when, he, when he takes a sling off to take a shower and stuff, all he can do is dangle his arm. He can't move this, this part of his shoulder at all. He's not allowed to do this. He's not allowed to do anything. Only the physical therapists are going to be able to do that. So we'll see what happens. But, yeah, so he'll start therapy this week. He'll start Wednesday. And um, he's going to go three times a week. And then he'll go back, like I said, to the doctor in three weeks. And hopefully, if he's doing well, he'll be able to get a sling off. We'll see. I don't know. And then, you know, what? whatever depends on how this one um, does, then I guess, you know, he'll schedule the next one. But that we have to wait to see, make sure that this one is all healed and stuff good because, um, you know, he'll be left with one arm and that, ha and that arm, you know, has to be functional because he needs one arm at least. You know, I mean, he uses the other arm now somewhat only, but it's painful and he really can't use it, you know. So... So, yeah, so things went well with that. It was a, oh, crappy, rainy day here in New York, upstate New York, guys, pouring like, like, like a monsoon, just like one of those crappy, rainy days that you would like to just, like, stay in your house and just, like, cuddle under your blanket and everything. Really, really, really crappy weather. So we had to drive down to um, another county that we live in, um, uh, like, another county, which is, like, like, I don't know, half hour away from here, so... Um, yeah, so it was not, you know, how rain when you're, when that, and you have that rain that, that's like a downpour and like you can't see and it's just, ugh, it was so awful driving, but we made it safely. I prayed to God that we would and we did. So we got home safely, got there safely and, um, and that's all that matters. So yeah, so I was gonna, I, I was gonna make stuffed shells. That's on the menu plan this week. I haven't made it yet. I was supposed to make it yesterday, but then we got our Christmas tree and, just everything was like crazy, and I just didn't feel like making a marinara. So um, probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow is going to be a calmer day to uh, to make the um, stuffed shells. I'm really, really craving that. So that's probably what I'll do tomorrow. So now I'm just breading this, um, guys. I cut the chicken in, in small. You know, I cut the chicken down the middle like I always do down the middle. I slice it down the middle. I did that, and I have Italian-style breadcrumbs, and I added... Grated cheese, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder to this. Um, that's and a little thyme, of course, guys. My thyme, and I added a little thyme to it. So um, that's that's what the chicken is going to be coated in. I'm going to fry it in um, some uh, vegetable oil and olive oil to combine. That's usually how I do it. Um, yeah, so we're going to have we'll have what, maybe the stuffing, and I'm going to make broccoli and cheese. So I have to just put the broccoli in the microwave and um, get that going in a few minutes. 
Yeah, and that's going to be a simple dinner. Maybe some corn, too. I had, last time I had corn, too. I want corn tonight. Again, I, I like corn. Enjoy corn. So, yeah, guys, now we're on full mode. Full mode Christmas. Lord, you know, the last two or three years I found... I found Amazon, especially last year and the year before. I found Amazon, guys. I love it. I love ordering things online, and they just come to your door. You don't have to go into the store. I think I went into the store last year one one trip, I think. Maybe two trips to go like to the Dollar Tree for stuff like that. I think maybe two trips I made. That was it. I love to get... I love to do that online. It's just so great because... You don't have to leave your house. You hit a button and everything comes right to your house. Love it, love it, love it. So that's what I'm going to be doing again, starting tomorrow, guys. My finger's going to be hitting the button and I'm going to start ordering. Start ordering and get it done. <sighs> yeah, it's a busy month. December's a busy month. Um, my birthday, well, Julie's birthday, my daughter, her birthday is the 20th. Is the 20th? Her birthday is the 12th of December. And my birthday is the 13th of December. And so she's going to be 25, so she's going out with her friends. Um, they're going to something place. Um, I don't even remember what she said. Anyway, they're going to someplace good, so she's going to do that. And then my birthday is that. Uh, hers is Saturday, mine Sunday. So then we'll have cake probably for us on Sunday together or Friday. Friday or Sunday, I'm not sure yet. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, so it's a busy month. Uh, December in my family was always a big month. My my sister was born in December. My other sister was born in December. I have my brother was born in December. Uh, all my nephew, not all my nephews, a lot of my nephews were born in December. Uh, December's a very, very busy month. My dad's birthday was in December. December 24th or December 22nd. Just my grandmother's birthday was in December and that's that's Julie's birthday actually. So yeah, we're, we're a big December. December's a busy month. It was in Christmas and it's always been crazy, guys. See? Very simple to do this. You can have the kids do this. The kids would probably love to come in here and help you help you in the kitchen bread all the chicken collets. It's so it's so simple, guys, and it makes them feel like they're doing something. You know, they're they're being productive. I know when um, Jenny does this kind of stuff in the kitchen and like loves to, you know, feel productive. Especially now with the way things are going, guys. I mean God, poor Jenny, and poor, you know, the disabled the, the, the disabled community is getting hit really hard, guys, because they don't understand. Like, all they understand is their friends and their socialization, and their whole life is their, socializ is their socialization. That's what their lives are based on. And for this to happen and them to have all that taken away is very, very, very frustrating. And... You know, now Jennifer's home again for another two weeks. We'll see. I hope I hope they go back. They're supposed to go back December 7th. So first it was the 1st. Now it's the 7th. So let's hope that they do go back. Because even if she just goes to three days a week, it uh, does, does wonders for her. You know, now with her being home again, she's just irritable and she's cranky. And she's, you know, very, very defiant and just not happy. And it's not easy, guys. It really isn't. It's really very hard very hard on them. They don't understand. They all they like I said. All they know is what they know, you know, and that's it. And you can't do anything about it. It's very, very frustrating. It's very, very hard. So, trying to keep her busy, you know. She she she's going on Zoom. They have like where they do um you know they do Zoom um things, and so they do a lot with their group and everything. So it keeps them busy, which is terrific because that and that entails keeps. Her busy, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, so they so they do that. They do all kinds of um, activities. Like they don't just get on there and talk. They they do activities. They do learning stuff. They do um, like socialization stuff. Like you know what happens if you're um, what happens if you're if somebody's trying to talk to you in a street. Like what do you do? You run? Do you stay there? Do you you know what is where somebody tries to grab you? That all that they're doing all that kind of stuff. So um, there's all kinds of learning stuff going on. It's not just, you know, playing games and stuff. They also do learning stuff, which is really good for them because repetition with people who have disabilities is very much, um, very much helpful. Everything has to be done over and over and over again. And they, they love routine. 
like Jennifer, if you get her out of her routine, that's what in the beginning with COVID. Oh my God. Guys, it was so hard. It was so hard. She went from going out six days a week, socializing on Saturdays. They would go to plays and, and restaurants and, and bowling and movies and just guys, they had a ball. Used money, they went out, they went to the mall. They, it was unbelievable. And now, now they do nothing. They do nothing. But a little bit of socialization, it's really, really sad. It's really scary and it's really sad. And I pray to God that this goes away soon and everything gets back to normal because I don't know how long, how long I keep her in like this. It's, it's, it's horrible. And not only that, but like people with disabilities, you have to really keep them like up because, you know, they lose a lot of information. They, you know, it's very important that they keep active and they keep, you know, um, mentally active too. And that's why the Zoom things are really important because they need that interaction, guys. Otherwise, they, they can really regress. They really can. And that's the, and that's the scary part. It really is scary. So, so yeah, so I'm just praying that everything gets back to normal. And, you know, we do, we're doing what we have to do and helping her as much as we can. And that's all we can do, guys, right? That's all we can do. Encourage her and, you know, um, try to get, give her as much as we possibly can in the house. And um, I pray to God that she goes back on the 7th for the three days a week. And then hopefully that will be better. So we'll see, guys. We'll see. So, yeah. So, um, you know, that's it on that end. And um, so Hubby's still home. He's going to be home for a while. Like I said, he still has to get the other one done. So it's going to be a while. So um, we're just going to enjoy the holidays and do what we can. And that's it. And be thankful. But we got to be thankful, guys, right? It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. It really could be a lot worse. So, you know. Bless God that we get up every morning and that we see another day and we wake up to be able to do the things we love to do. And that's it. And that's all you can hope for. You know? Somebody does have it, somebody else does have it much worse than you. That's how I try to think about it. And you know, I try to tell myself if I'm feeling down or I'm feeling um, you know, discouraged or whatever, and I'm not happy or I'm sad or whatever. I try to remember, people. other people have it worse than me. You know, they really do. There are a lot of people out there who have it worse than, than me. And not that your problems aren't, aren't important or aren't serious. They are. They are to you. If that, you know what I mean? What you're going through is very important. But there are other people who are going through worse things than you. So you have to kind of try to put it in, into perspective and, and talk to yourself and, and say, you know, look, I can have a lot, I can have it a lot worse. And that really makes you feel better. So God bless everybody. And um, I pray every day for peace and hope for everybody and health and good health and, and all of that. So that's all we can do, guys. That right? That's it. All right. So enough of my spiel. Um, this is the chicken is done. I think that's enough. I'm going to leave this here because I'm trying to debate. I got to make sure that it's enough. I just don't want to not have enough. So. I'm going to start frying it up and see what I have. If I need a couple more pieces, I'll um, put a couple more pieces in. So I'm going to go over to the, uh, to the stove now. I'm going to get this together to start frying up, and I'll bring you guys over in just a sec. Be back. Hi, guys. So I'm back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to put the flame on for the chicken, like on medium-high. I want it a little bit high. You don't want it burning high, but you know. I'm gonna put coating of of um, vegetable oil. And then I like the flavor of the um, of the olive oil, so I'm gonna put eh, a quarter of a I'd like a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I might need a little bit more vegetable oil, actually. I'm gonna put a drop more vegetable oil in. I'm going to let this heat up, and then we're going to start frying our cutlets up, guys. Let me get a pan so I have something to put the cutlets on. And one of the bigger pans, and this is going to be fun because I'm short. And 
everything is up top. It's not fun. It's not fun to be short, guys. Comment below if you're short or you're tall. Do you have trouble getting in and out of get things out? Because I know I do. Now what I'm gonna do is let this heat up and I'm gonna put some paper towels down on my um on my cookie sheet. This way when I put the um the chicken on there, guys, it'll it'll um it'll uh you know soak up the oil. Listen guys, I have mashed potatoes, look. I have the leftover stuffing that was in the turkey. Yay, I'm stealing this. I don't want anybody to know this was in the turkey. I don't want this one. I have a whole tray of the of stuffing that was in that wasn't in the turkey that nobody even touched, guys. A whole tray. So we're gonna have that too if this isn't enough. I got gravy still. Look at that. So we're gonna make broccoli and cheese. We're gonna have um I even think there's some yams downstairs. Maybe Julie wants those. We'll probably go down and get those. There's only a little bit left. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to make any other sides. Uh, I'm probably going to make corn. We're going to have the broccoli and cheese. And that's what we're going to have for dinner this way. All this stuff will be utilized, guys. Once after it's, after we eat it today, whatever we don't eat goes in the garbage. Because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today's Monday, four days. I don't want it to go. And we also have some turkey down there still. I got to do something with that turkey. There's, there's a nice amount of turkey down there. I had a sandwich. Nobody else is even eating it. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but I got to figure it out by tomorrow. I'll utilize that somehow. Maybe I'll make a turkey salad with it or something like that. Yeah. All right. So let me check the oil on this and see if the oil is hot enough. You know how we do that, right? With the with the um, wooden spoon. If it sizzles, it's ready. You want the oil pretty hot. Now, I like my chicken cutlets fried. I like them... Um, lightly brown not burnt sometimes they get a little dark they get away from me and they get a little dark um but i like them like lightly lightly browned and i'll use my thermometer just to make sure that they're done because chicken breasts like i said you overcook chicken breasts you might as well throw them against the wall and let your kids play with them or something for a toilet let, let cooper have it because it's not even it's so it's so bad if it's not it's not um if they're overcooked give me one sec all right, guys, I'm going to start putting these in. The oil's nice and hot. Do we hear that? Yep. You hear that sizzle? I don't know if you guys can hear it. I would like to hear it a little bit more, so I'm going to wait another couple of seconds before I put the rest of the chicken in. Because I want to hear a bigger sizzle, guys. Yeah, so look at this. Let me show you. I have a whole tray here of stuffing that I didn't that I cooked the same day Thanksgiving, but we didn't even touch. Look, a whole tray. So I don't know, maybe I could maybe I could freeze it, guys. I might do that. If we don't eat this at all, maybe I'll just freeze it. And have it another night. Okay. There we go. It's sizzling nice now. Now you want the oil nice and hot, guys. Otherwise your food, your chicken, your pork, whatever is gonna be greasy. It's gonna be very oily. If the chicken's not hot enough, it's just going to soak up all, if the oil's not hot enough, sorry, um, it's going to soak up all the all the oil and just be very gross. So you don't want that. So you got to make sure you have a nice a nice heat on the, um, on the stove. And this could probably be a little bit hotter. Ah, I'm so sorry. I had a busy day today. I'm a, little, I'm a little sleepy. I didn't get my nap in today, guys. Eh. What are you gonna do? Can't always nap. <laughs> right, guys? Hi, guys. Um, so yeah, so another tip with um, with um, making chick fried chicken cutlets, if you don't want them to, like all the breading to come off, make sure you don't, you try not to flip them or touch them until like a good five minutes or you, you know, you see that they're, you can tell that they're like ready to turn, they're getting brown. Because um, otherwise, when you if you lift them too soon, the breadcrumbs will come off. You know what I mean? And sometimes that happens. It, it's going to happen regardless, guys, because it's just the way it, it goes. But you'll prevent that a little bit more if you don't touch them and um, fuss with them, which I love to do. All right, guys, I'm going to start turning them over. See that? That's how I like it. Lightly, lightly brown. 
Chicken cutlets has always been a staple in my house. My mom, growing up, used to make them. They are so delicious. Just go with a little bit of lemon on them. And you can dip them in ranch, you can dip them in whatever. So good, guys. I'm gonna move this pan over a little bit. Turn it around so this kind of gets all evenly here. And right now, I'm going to move you guys a little bit because I'm gonna put this over here. Just like this. Because I wanna show you guys I'm going to be doing the, the broccoli and um, the broccoli and cheese. Ow. Oh, right. yeah. Putting that in the pan. Some shredded cheese I already had shredded. I'm going to put that in the pan with the broccoli. Keep an eye on that. Oh, the scissors actually in the spot that it's supposed to be in. That's a miracle. It's never in the same, it's never in the spot. Now, when, when I do this in the microwave, I cut a little piece and then I drain out the water, guys, because there's a lot of, there's, sometimes there's water in the, um, see? Water that comes out of the bag when it's frozen. I don't want all that water. So I drain that out a little bit. Open it up. Put it in here. That's, you know what, I, I might need another bag. I really might need another bag because my family also broccoli and cheese and just, these bags, ow, ooh, ha, ha. These bags do not hold a lot. This one didn't really have much water in it. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Ah, I think I'm gonna get another bag, guys. I have to look up here and see if I have it. If not, it's in the freezer downstairs. <clears throat> Which I love having the freezer downstairs and the refrigerator, but it's a pain in the booty to go down there constantly. All right, let's check some of these. Let's see if this one's done. I just checked them quickly just to see where they're at because, like I said, I don't want to overcook them. This one is supposed to be, chicken is supposed to be a 165. That's at about 150. So if that one's at about 150, 152, that one's almost done. So then these thinner ones, let's see this one. This is a little bit as thick, as thick as the other one. This thing, guys, is amazing. I, I love having this thing. I'm telling you, it saves me. My, my food, my food has always been good. I'm not tooting my own horn or anything, guys. I'm just saying my food has always been good, but Having the thermometer makes it so much better because you really, it just, it helps you so much with, with the temperature of the food. And this one's got to be done if this one's at 50, at 150 already. And, um, you know what I mean? See, now look at all the stuff that came off of it and I didn't even mess with it. Sometimes the breadcrumbs just don't, just don't adhere. I don't know why. Well, I didn't use egg. I didn't, I didn't use egg, guys. I used um, just water. So that's probably why, too. This is not a diet meal, guys, okay? It's a lot of oil, but it, it all, you know, we, that's why I put it onto the, whew, I put it onto the paper towel, so it, um, it all comes off. I'm just gonna check that one to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that that's done. Yeah, there we go, so that's at 188. And this one, let's see, uh, the fatter one. I don't know, it's saying it's done. Let me check it again. Yeah, it's saying it's done, so I'm gonna take it out. Cause you know what else, guys, too? They cook while they're in the, and while they're sitting there, too. They, they still, they cook a little bit. Let's put more in here. Some of the bread comes, came off, so I'm just gonna take those. Take those out. Let's see about this one, guys. Yeah, this one's done. They cook fairly quick in here. If the oil's really hot, guys, they cook very, very quick. They really do. 
get these in. Okay, I'm gonna put these in, then I'm gonna go to the freezer and look and see if I have any more broccoli up here. Otherwise, I might have to ask Hubby to go downstairs. I hate to bother him, but I might have to. Be back in a sec. All right, guys, I do have another broccoli, so it's in the microwave. Right now, I'm gonna get the, the cheese. Um, let me get the, the cheese shredder. Give me one second. I'm gonna shred some cheese, get that going. So this way I can add it to the broccoli. I had to have broccoli up here because I usually keep it up here. This way it's it's close because I know we you know we use it a lot. So I got this here. I'm gonna shred this. Wow, you know what I was just thinking? I actually have I actually have some Velveeta cheese. I might put some of the Velveeta in. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put some of this, some of the cheddar, and I'm gonna put some Velveeta. I bought a small block thingy of the Velveeta because I wanted to use it for something, and this is what I want to use it for, guys. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm excited. I knew I bought it for something. I wasn't sure. I said, let me buy this. Maybe, you know, I bought a small one. Maybe I can use it for some sort of, maybe I can do some sort of recipe. There we go. Chicken's coming along. I don't know why tonight, but the breadcrumbs are really difficult tonight, but you know what? It is what it is. They're gonna be fine. I'm gonna put these a little, move them over a little bit so I have more room here. And you know what, guys? I'm not gonna put tin foil on top of the chicken, and you know why? Because I don't know if you know this, but if you, if you put tin foil over something that's hot, it, um, like, all the crunchiness will kind of come off. It'll like get soggy. So that's why I'm not covering it. I mean, I know it's not gonna be as hot as they want it or to put it in the microwave for a second. It just, it takes, I hear just came off. It takes off the, um, the crunchiness so I don't put tin foil over it. You can actually put like a little, uh, like a little tent of tin foil if you want. You know, to keep it slightly warm if you wanna do that, which I do a lot. I think I can actually fit another piece of chicken in here too. So you guys, look at that, look up. Isn't that nice? Look, I'll show you closer. Right? This one's pretty good. Nice, guys. Nice. This food, this excites me, guys. Is that, is that weird that this excites me? I don't think so, right? Everybody has different things that excite them, right? Like eating this little piece of chicken? So good, it's like nuggets, guys. Let me get the Velveeta. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chunk it up. I'm gonna mix it in with all the broccoli and then the shredded. I'll put it on top. Just I'll put it on top. This, I'll chop and put it in the, um, in it. I'm going to do half of a, half of the box. Okay, I'll do this half. I'm going to put this half away for something else. So yummy, guys. Let's get this tin foil off of it. I want to kind of leave it in a in the block. So let's get this, cut it down the middle, and then I'll put them together like this. Chunk them up like this. Chunk them again. This way, chunk them up. This way, the more pieces I have, the more that can go through the broccoli and cheese. It's good for mac and cheese. I'm gonna make it with mac and cheese one day. I never made it with Velveeta, guys. I've only made it with my own homemade um, homemade cheese, you know, the, um, the real macaroni and cheese. 
I've made it with my own homemade peas, but I've never used Velveeta, but I see people use Velveeta all the time. So, it's my turn. Well, we'll do broccoli first, and then we'll try out the, the macaroni and cheese. All right. Let's get some meat. Let me get the thermometer. That one is coming on. 135, 140. All right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna show you, let me bring this over here. Here, I'll bring you back over here. Woo! Oh, boy. Can't let this fall, otherwise we're gonna have a video, too. Just like this. Okay, that's the other broccoli. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here, okay? Now, the other broccoli is gonna go on top, so it's gonna make this nice and hot, guys. Give me one sec. It's gonna make it melt because the broccoli is burning hot. All right, let's open this a little bit. So we can drain some water out of it. That one has a lot of water. Look at that. Lots of water in that sucker. I think that these um, these thinner chickens are done. I'm gonna leave that like that for a second. And then we just check these little thinner ones because I don't want to overcook them. Yeah. See guys, these, let me show you. I'm gonna put it over the cheese. These are gonna be done quicker because they're they're thinner. It's just a given, and I don't want them to overcook. So I'm gonna take them out. Let me check this one over here. Yeah, it's done. Like I said, guys, they cook very, very quick in the oil because the oil is so hot that um, it just it just cooks it enormously quick. That's if that makes sense. Let's put the other ones in here. Just give me one second, guys. And then we're gonna mix up the mix up the broccoli with the Velveeta. People are getting a treat tonight. They're getting Velveeta and they don't even know it. They're gonna be like, Mom, what is different about this? I don't know what's different about it. I do it like I make it like I always make it. <laughs> no, Mom, something different. We'll see. I'm just going to sink it right over all the thing like that. My husband gets so mad at me, guys. Comment below if you guys do this. I put garbage in the sink. Like, as I'm cooking, I put it in the sink sometimes. He gets so aggravated when I do that. Why do you put garbage in the sink? He hates when I do that. But I do that a lot because it's convenient. I'm very sorry, but it's convenient and it helps me. All right, so. All right, so this is melting. This is going to melt nice in here. Three bags of broccoli. This doesn't look like three bags, does it? Not at all. It doesn't look like three bags. Wow. Let me see. Let me see how big these bags are. They are 12 ounces. They're all 12 ounces. So... I think I'm gonna put a little more of the in, guys. I'm gonna put another black chunk of Velveeta. Growing up, a weird fact, my stepfather, um, he um, used to cut off. Oh, it's thundering here in New York, guys. Thundering in November, though almost December. Is that weird? My stepfather used to cut a slab of this off like this, the big slab, and he would put it on a sandwich and eat it with mayonnaise. That's how he used to eat it. Woo! Give me a little a little bit. All right, so we're gonna put this cheese in here. All right, guys, the chicken cutlets are done now. I'm gonna take them all out. These last ones are all done. I'm shutting the flame off. The, um, I have the stuffing heating up in the, in the microwave now. 
I'm going to, after that warms up, I'm going to put the, um, the mashed potatoes in. And right here I have the gravy, guys. I put the gravy in here, put a little um, water in it. I'm going to give it a little whisk. I have the broccoli and the, the broccoli and cheese, the Velveeta in, in the, um, the George Foreman in there. This is going to be very thick. I have to loosen this up. It's definitely too thick. So, give me one second. Let's get some water in it. I'm going to put a little bit of water in it, guys. To loosen it up a little bit. That's fine. Yummy, 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 I think what I'm gonna do, guys, I need to have another bowl, but I think I'm gonna put it in here and not keep it in the container because I think it's just not, it's not gonna heat up good if I don't put it in the bowl, you know what I mean? I think it's just easier, it's not, it's only one bowl. So what, uh, it's another thing I have to wash, right guys? What's the, what's the difference? A mother's, a mother's, a mother's bed. All right, let's put this in, let's put this in the, in the mic again. Good four minutes. Let me check the um bring it this way so you can see me over here. This is gonna be a long video, but I hope that's okay. Let's just check the broccoli and see what it's doing over here. Yeah, it's getting nice and hot. Basically what I just wanted because the broccoli's cooked. So basically what I want to do, guys, is just melt that Velveeta and get it really, really hot. And at the end, I'll put the, um, the shredded cheese on top. And I'll, well, I'll mix it first. So I mix in all the Velveeta. And then, I'll, um, then I will put the other cheese on top. And then I'll take a, a couple of minutes to, to melt. And I'm going to see if I have a can of corn. Give me one second. Because I want corn today. put that on my shopping list so I remember let me bring you over here I want to show you the gravy see it look at that guys leftover gravy beautiful chicken cutlets and the mash are going in I'm gonna go in in the microwave next I'm gonna heat these these things fell off I gotta put these back for decorations um, there's the stuffing and there's the broccoli. See guys, broccoli and cheese. I'm going to let that stay in there a couple more minutes and, um, get melted and then I'm going to mix it up. All right, guys, here's the stuffing out of the, um, the microwave. And I think it's plenty hot, guys. Look at that. So it doesn't need anything. It doesn't need butter or anything. It's completely moist still. So good. I'm gonna even get the cranberries. I'm gonna get the cranberries out of the um out of the uh, 
How to have that. Put this over the mashed potatoes and this over the stuffing. Keep the stuffing nice and warm. Put that over here. So that's all ready. The gravy's cooking away. It's going to be, I'm, I lowered it to the lowest amount. It's going to be okay. done. And I'm going to get the broccoli out here in a minute. Give me one second. I want to see if the broccoli is done. You know what? I better get another one. Because we don't want to happen what I had what happened to me a couple of weeks ago with the... What was it that fell out of the... Or something fell out of the pan. It went flying. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at the Velveeta melting. I put a little. I put a little salt in here when when I was when you guys weren't here. I'm gonna put some pepper, and I'm gonna put some garlic, cause we like garlic on our broccoli. Okay, let me get this in here. Oh my God, Velveeta's the bomb. Velveeta's the answer. Hallelujah. <coughs> Guys, the pepper got to me. Hallelujah! Oh God, I don't want to get in trouble for copyright. My, can I get in trouble for that? I always ask everybody. I don't know. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh boy! Oh boy! The lights just went out. Something just went out. Did we blow a fuse? Oh boy! I'll be back, guys. I hope we didn't blow. I hope we didn't blow lose electric. One second. All right, guys. It was just a, we just blew a fuse. Thank the Lord because you know it's thundering and lightning here in New York, December. I don't know what's going on, but Mother Nature's pissed off. I guess she's pissed off at COVID, like all like all of us are. So I mix this up, guys. It's nice. Let me show you how creamy the Velveeta made it. Look at that. So creamy. Velveeta is the bomb, guys. That's. That's the ticket. Really. It really is the ticket. You know, and it, it's like, do I do I keep do I keep this little bit or should I just add it to the broccoli? What what do you think? What would you guys do? Would you keep this or would you add it to the broccoli? <laughs> the broccoli. I don't know. Maybe I'll add little pieces. But then it's gonna be all then it, then it'll be all gone. I'll put a little bit here. And a little bit there, and then that's it. It's not like this is a diet meal or anything. All right, I'm gonna put it back in the George form and let that all melt, and then we're gonna eat. I'm gonna wait to the, finish the mashed potatoes because um, I don't want to blow a fuse again. I'm gonna shut the gravy off, guys, because the gravy is bubbling away. And I don't want to do that. Look at this. Look at what I kept. Really? I don't even know for what. Maybe to munch on? Yeah, I guess that's a good reason. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You know I'm going to eat it. Who am I kidding? It's late. It's like almost 7 o'clock and we're eating late tonight. Got a late start tonight. A late start, but that's okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna wait for the broccoli and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you our dishes, all right? I'm so excited for this meal. I'll be back. Hi, guys, here you go. Here's our dinner. Here's Jenny's plate, of course, with her ranch. She's got her chicken cut into almost like tenders because she wanted tenders, driving me nuts. So, here's my dish and here's Bill's dish. We know that's Bill's dish because he likes all the gravy, right? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> so that's it guys look I'm going to show you the broccoli how the broccoli came out so good guys Velveeta is the trick that's what I'm doing from now on all right guys so listen thank you so much for watching this what's for dinner I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the bottom if you guys like this video and um thanks for for watching appreciate it and I'll see you next time bye